Okay, hi there. Um, just wanted to share with you a little trick that I learned. Um, well, I actually just discovered it, thought about this, and then uh, tried it out, and it seems to work. Anyway, the idea here is when you are using the um, whiteboard feature in Zoom, it is actually pretty difficult to use a mouse to draw on the whiteboard. You could type text on the whiteboard, but in case you need to draw a diagram, um, you need to do it with a mouse. So my idea was, why don't I log into Zoom twice? So right now I'm logged in as a host, and then I used another device, my tablet, um, to log in as a participant. So uh, the idea here is it's easier for me to draw on the tablet than it is to draw on the desktop using my mouse. So uh, if you are giving a lecture or giving a talk and you need to draw on a whiteboard, you need to do that on your other device, not the main host device. So here's what it's gonna look like. So I'm getting ready to show a diagram. So I go to my device because I'm connected as a participant on my device and I click share and I share the whiteboard. So that should appear on the host screen that's being shared with the rest of the participants. Um, once I'm in, I can pretty much treat this as a whiteboard. This is the whiteboard. Um, and let me do a screen capture of that so that you can see uh, what the controls look like for, for this and then I can share it. Um, so uh, you can draw on the whiteboard. Honestly, it's so much easier to draw on the whiteboard using a pen. Um, and you can even highlight things on the whiteboard with a pointer if you wanted to. So we're looking at that node, we're looking at this node, or maybe we're looking at that subtree, or we're looking at this sentence and so on. So it actually turns out to be a pretty, pretty nice tool. And you can actually add an extra whiteboard and say, okay, this is the next one. Oop, let us uh, undo that. This is the second one. And then you can go back to the first one if you needed to. See, it remembers your whiteboards. So if you run out of space, you can actually flip back and forth between um, whiteboards. So let me see if I can remember how do I go back to uh, the controls for Zoom. Here we go. And now I stopped sharing the whiteboard because I wanted to show you what the uh, controls look like when you are using the whiteboard on a tablet. So this is what it looks like. So as you can see, it's uh, pretty nifty. Um, you get a number of uh, options available here at the bottom. Um, so you can use a pen, which is what you have there on the left. So that's by default how you interact with the whiteboard. Next to it is an eraser. You can change the color of the ink on your pen using this one. Um, you can change the width of the pen using this particular tool. Um, you can also, I should just use the spotlight. Uh, so this is the spotlight. That's what uses the spotlight. And this thing right here, pretty much just, uh, oh, now it's not working. This one here uh, closes the menu so that you have more room. And then this is the uh, option of adding another whiteboard. So when you click on that, it uh, sets aside the current whiteboard you're in and then you start on the new whiteboard. And once you do that, you will have an option to flip back and forth between the other whiteboards that you've created. So um, a very neat tool 
that's available. So check that out, try it out first so that you can get comfortable with the method. And then afterwards, um, see how it goes. I haven't actually tried it live in a class, but I did it here in my office and it seemed fine. So I think I might take that approach whenever I need to draw on the whiteboard. Anyway, thanks for listening. Hope that works out for you. Bye.